we have 90 kilometers left in our tank right now. So we're not gonna make it to the next gas station. said uh, 159 did it to Port Hope Simpson Aye. we have 90 kilometers left in our tank right now so we're not gonna make it to the next gas station but what I do think it means is that we'll be okay if we put both our jerry cans on the roof of our trailer in here right now you know this can be deceiving because this stretch of the Trans Labrador Highway is new they only recently finished the Trans Labrador Highway like a, less than a month before me and Tori showed up as in like it's been, it's paved now and this stretch last time I was in Labrador wasn't even here so this looks like a very new very nice stretch of highway it's kind of hard it's easy to forget that you're like in the middle of absolutely nowhere and there's no gas stations and no service um, within enormous stretches of distance so I mean we we're kicking ourselves we should have topped up before we left Happy Valley Goose Bay but we wouldn't have made it anyway so mandatory to have uh, the extra jerry cans here and I think judging by what that lot, uh, sign said and by how much fuel we have left it means that we're gonna make it with the jerry cans so that's good news stop was going to be right here on uh, the Paradise River which is before the turnoff to get to the community of Paradise River. So we will pull over there and fill up with gas and probably break for lunch. After we fill up with gas we'll check the range and if we don't have enough fuel to get to Port Hope Simpson we'll have to do a huge sidetrack driving 45 minutes each way to get up to the community of Paradise River because they now have a road in off the Trans Labrador Highway so it'd be a major detour. I think we'll have enough with our Jerry's. If it, if it can get to us to half a tank then we're good. Here's Paradise River here so now. All right well at least we know there's people here that can maybe save our lives if they have enough gas. Paradise River. This is a salmon river, fly fishing only in Labrador. There's the bridge. Tori and I would actually stop here and fish for salmon, although the season's closed.
These are great because you can fold them like this. Ooh, yeah. To get them on. Yeah, totally. Uh. Not very much, honey. That's a lot though. 129? That's only got us back over a quarter tank. We need both. What are you doing, bud? Good boy! Honey, come here. That's Huddy saying good boy. He says, Dad boy. Dad boy. It sounds like he's saying Dad boy, but oh, he's yeah. saying good boy. Close the door. Good job. Good, good job, job, bud. Good Yay. job. Okay. Two forty-five. That got us back up past a half tank. We're gonna make it. We're gonna make it. Can I have your knife? Cold Steel Four Max folder. Love this thing. Hey, babe. We're getting out. We're hanging out outside now. This is a. Uh, Jarred moose meat that was given to us. Or should mm. I put it just here? It smells good. Want to try some? Look daddy has. Daddy. Come here. Come here. <laughs> It's a good sandwich. Yeah? Yeah. Good with the honey mustard and all that? Really good. Beautiful little spot here, the Paradise River. Probably about 100 and something clicks out of Port Hope Simpson. One Jerry was questionable whether it would get us there. So I put in both Jerry's 45 liters. Anyone that's pulling a trailer from Goose Bay to Port Hope Simpson, even with a full tank, you might need to pop a Jerry in there. Anyways, we're not catching our ferry till the day after tomorrow in the morning. So if we can make it to Blanc Savon tomorrow evening, be there first thing for our ferry at 10 a.m. Get over to the island in Newfoundland. We're getting places, honey. Yeah! Yeah! All right. Just giving a little food to the whiskey jacks. They're smart. They're gray jays, which are corvids related to ravens. Oh, oh, I already took some. There's the road to Paradise River. We're pushing on. That's a dirt road. Well, Huddy is uh, protesting. We, we took a long stop there at the side of the road. One of the things that overlanding is you're supposed to be self-sufficient. Which, you know, not so much this morning. That was our first time in this the last eight days buying any type of fast food from any restaurant. And I needed access to cell phone thing. service and before we pulled out of town, so Jim thought, well, good way to just in kill some meters, time. Is turn going. left onto Trans Labrador Highway, buddy. Newfoundland and Labrador 510 North. There you go, buddy. Well, there's the proof is in the pudding. The navigator said where we were. Lens or loop.
Fort Hope Simpson. All right, where's the gas station? Oh, we're coming into town here. Welcome to Labrador. Is this a gas station? Yeah, um, looks like a gas station. That's a fishing boat. Cool. I'm sure we could camp here. I don't think anyone would really care, no. but I don't really want it. the ends of the earth. Let's camp here, honey. Perfect. It's dump burning day today. Well, I was thinking we'd camp at the end of the road down here. It's about Thanksgiving, so good time for cranberries. Mm. They're actually shockingly sweet. Those are um, low bush Arctic cranberries, and um, I found them right here at our campsite outside of Port Hope Simpson, Labrador. One of the, our followers um, noticed us and took a selfie with us at the gas station, refilled the Jerry's, searched around on Google Earth and found a place uh, we could pull off of on a dirt road, pass a dump fire, right on basically um, a river. I'm sure it's brackish water here. It's affected by the tides and we basically are more or less on the ocean and pulled our trailer right up to a fire pit on the ocean and got the whole place to ourselves. Amazing. And it's Friday night too, eh Tor?
It, our trailer has a six pin connector so the batteries are supposed to trickle charge as we drive but uh, yesterday our batteries were low so we think maybe it's either not taking a charge all of a sudden or um, potentially it hasn't been and we just haven't noticed it and they've just lasted this long but uh, it could be just that we haven't been driving as much the last few days and camping longer and leaving the power and stuff running for longer so that's why I brought uh, a generator so we could plug that generator in and just charge the battery so not the ideal thing to listen to this evening but um, you know what it's gonna you know hopefully maybe save the day and it's something you definitely want to bring if you're gonna be camped out for multiple days and not driving in between because you're gonna need to find a way to charge the batteries in the trailer and that works the blower and the heater um, all the lights etc etc so um, that's what I had to do right now is just fired up the generator. I got a small uh, Yamaha inverter generator, just about the perfect thing for, for this. So. This is it. Life's not infinite. It's the only chance we get. So why are we waiting? Why are we waiting? Will it click? Looking for the next new fix Is this the new kind of sick? Why are we waiting? Why are we waiting?
morning. It is the morning of day nine of our adventure. I forgot to do uh, an interview last night, so I'll just cover that a bit. But uh, Tori and I uh, had a nice little lunch stop on a beautiful river called the Paradise River yesterday and uh, drove over a stretch of newly constructed road, which was quite nice, but uh, you know, essentially ran out of gas in our tank and had to resort to our jerry cans. But when we got to Port Hope Simpson, I was chatting with some people and they're like, oh yeah, well, that's, that's standard pretty much. You're gonna have to uh, refill. So so um, yeah, jerry cans. It's a long haul with no gas stations in between um, Goose Bay and uh, Port Hope Simpson. So we did that and then uh, just basically checked out town. Um, Port Hope Simpson seems like uh, the real deal Labrador here. Uh, the road hasn't been in here for very long. We saw some really cool old boats and a uh, fishing boat that looked like it's active and super, super friendly people. Actually, Tori and I are both honestly touched by how friendly people have been and how friendly people are around here. We didn't know where we we're gonna camp, so Tori used uh, Google Earth and found out a spot that looks like um, at one time it was an old place where people docked or launched boats or whatever. There's like a, you know, a pier there, but it's not in use anymore. It's basically a place set up, I think, more or less just for this. There's a few picnic tables, some fires, a garbage, super clean. So yeah, and just, you know, really cool spot here yesterday. The plan today is to push on pretty much to Blanc Sablon. We're gonna have a couple views out to the ocean today. It's called the Labrador Coastal Drive. New stretch of, of road through here. And then it basically ends after it passes back into Quebec. And Blanc Sablon is where the ferry goes over to the island in Newfoundland at St. Barb. And yeah, we're having a blast out here just finding really cool spots to call home each night. You know, once we got further north, we realized that we could get into areas where you know, nobody was really around where we could kind of tuck ourselves away, have a little bit of privacy, no issue um, with the dog running around a little bit as long as we keep an eye on him and uh, just the spots have been getting more and more beautiful. Um, you know, not really any campground fees or, you know, that, things like that, right? So that's one of the cool things about uh, when you get into Labrador and stuff like that. There's just fewer people, fewer rules, and just, you know, in general, just freaking awesome all around. So yeah, it should be one of the most beautiful days of traveling today on this uh, coastal Labrador route. So very, very cool. of day nine we are on the road it is quarter to 11 that is Newfoundland time so they are an hour and a half um, ahead of our time so technically for us it would be quarter it would be quarter after nine so I mean that's pretty early for us so we're making some good time today so far we only have um, a two and a half hour drive to get to Blanc Sablon which is where we will be meeting our ferry tomorrow morning at 10.30. So we're gonna camp near there so that we don't have to travel too far tomorrow morning. We are 200 kilometers away from the next gas station. So today we are not too worried about uh, running out of gas. We are expecting some beautiful views today because we are traveling the coastal highway, I guess. So we're gonna be traveling along the coast of Labrador um, and so I assume we're gonna be making a lot of stops to get some nice shots of the beautiful scenery. How was your muffin? It was really yummy. <laughs> Why are you so annoying today? I don't know. I love you. Oh my God. Well, we're taking a left on 513 because um, we just saw a sign saying Iceberg Alley with an arrow pointing this way and you know I think there's maybe a little town Continue at the end of this little Labrador side road. For 31 kilometers. I hate this bitch. Anyway so we're gonna go see if we can see some icebergs. I don't know how far we're gonna have to drive or how long this road is or really anything but Iceberg Alley I've heard of that before. I thought that was more on the island but I mean I guess they'd have to float past Labrador to get there so maybe we'll see it Iceberg! Welcome to Iceberg Down. Stop. 
Well, there's supposed to be some icebergs at the end of this road. Pretty cool. Um, just driving through like super uh, rocky, you know, coastal country is starting to look more and more like the Labrador coast as I knew it from further north. I sailed all the way up to Nain um, at the end of one of my long adventures where I crossed Labrador by canoe and yeah, super like stunted trees, barren rock, extremely rugged, rugged country um, is what we're starting to see more and more of here. Pretty awesome. to see the arches. This is the wrong St. Louis. Not an iceberg in sight, but we've driven basically to the very end of this uh, road outside of uh, St. Louis here, Fox Bay, but yeah, it's called Iceberg Alley. I can see where people are out lobster fishing. They got lobster traps out there. I saw a whole bunch of back there. Quintessential fishing community here. Super cool, super authentic, well off the beaten path and um, just super happy that we decided to uh, take this little side adventure. What about you, hon? Yeah, it's so beautiful. It's so, so cool to just see um, this little community here, right on the ocean. How cool is this? We made it back to route 510. We made it another 50 kilometers and we're already taking another detour after saying we've used up all our detour time for the day. This one's much shorter it seems. It's a historic site, uh, Mary's Harbor it's called, but there's, uh, I guess it's a battle harbor so, um, you know, Jim can't resist a good plaque. So I'm sure there's, a, there's gonna be a, there's gonna be a good plaque. There were no I plaques. I was told there'd be a plaque. 
So there is a ferry that leaves Mary's Harbor and goes to Battle Harbor, which we definitely do not have time for today. We're going back on the highway. I guess grab them and come eat them up here. Came with that crab there, see the crab leg? Massive whale vertebrae from there over to there. And another bone there. Imagine like, like 400 years ago, people yeah. sailed here and like pulled whales from way out there into here and like cut them up and processed them and sailed home across the ocean. Wonder how many of them never made it, eh? This is 400 years old. Yeah. Wild. Yeah, at first glance it looks like a rock, but these are 400-year-old uh, whale bones. Wow, look at the size of that thing, eh? No, so cool, eh? Wow, look at how cool this is. To think that this has been here since the 1600s, 400 years ago, and the Basque sailed over here from the coast of Spain or France, and harvested this whale and processed it right on this beach where we're standing now is just incredible. And did that multiple times. This whole beach is littered with whale bones from old Basque whaling operations. Pretty amazing. Look at you, you're a little explorer. That's the ocean, honey. Look, that's a whale bone. Just give Wes a kiss. Oh, look at that, bud. Isn't that cool? Is Good job. Oh, man down. All right, let's head back. Yeah, let's head back. Burning daylight here, eh? We got yeah. a ways to make Light. it to Blanc Sablon. Let's go, bud. Let's go. I wonder if all these rocks are natural or if that's, uh, 
uh, a structure that was made by the Basque um, in, in the processing of whales. Same with those rocks up there. They're used somehow part of a, a rock structure. Yeah, that's a big piece that's just been covered up slowly by Crazy. over time. That's completely underground now. visiting our province, Newfoundland, Labrador. Oh, I'm sad. Well, that is it. We just drove through Labrador and we're back in Quebec. Um, so we just finished the Trans-Labrador Highway. The continuation is Quebec 138, which doesn't connect with the rest of Quebec 138. So if you want to continue on this way, you got to get on a ferry and take a 35 hour sailing past a whole bunch of communities. So you get to Kagaska or basically Natashquan, where the road starts up again. Then you can drive west past Bay Como, where we drove, um, or well, that was our turn off to drive north into Labrador. So we've covered some freaking land. Labrador was kind to us to say the least. The people were amazing. Uh, unfortunately, it was really overcast today, so we couldn't share some of these incredible um, oceanic views that we saw today. Very, very beautiful, uh, quaint communities, um, grand scenery, very, very awesome, beautiful spots to camp. Um, the whale bones we saw today, the moose we saw today, uh, just all of it together was was very amazing. I didn't have the, you know, deep, true wilderness experience that we've had in Labrador before, but um, just seeing it like this, taking the kids and doing an overlanding adventure on the Trans-Labrador Highway is amazing. But our adventure is certainly not over. In about 10 kilometers, we'll be at Blanc Sablon, where we will catch a ferry over to the island of Newfoundland, and then we'll drive south. So this portion of our trip is coming to an end, but a very exciting portion of our trip is just beginning. De la Côte Nord. Back in Quebec. No service sites, did it say? Beautiful, beautiful. Well, there is the ferry we'll be on tomorrow. The Quadjac, Labrador Marine. Whoa. So cool. All these ferries. This is a way of life that we don't know. Here late for our ferries. It blew in. There goes our quad jack. <laughs> <laughs>